Hello YouTube, today I'm at Champion Buick GMC taking a look at this all new 2021 GMC Yukon Denali. This one is a little bit special, it does have some black accents including blacked out wheels. Starting off up front, full LED light group, beautiful C-channel LEDs, LED lows and highs as well as fog lights, legendary Denali style grill. This does have the 360 degree camera system with your front facing camera right here. Parking sensors are seamlessly integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. Coming around to the side, we have a beautiful blacked out GMC wheel. It is on a 275-50 R22 Bridgestone tire. Right here we have some GMC badging color matched mirror cap with again black accents and another camera for the 360 degree camera system. Got your Denali logo right there. This vehicle does have the deployable running boards as well. It also has the passive entry system so as long as you have the key fob on you you can lock and unlock the vehicle from any of the four doors. Full roof rack up top very nice color i love the the black and white uh, two-tone on this vehicle here's a closer look at the led tail lights absolutely love the headlights and tail lights on this redesign you got dual exhaust with dual tips parking sensors again integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper there's your denali badging as well as your yukon badging you got your backup camera on the left and then your rear view mirror camera in the middle this glass still does open independent from the entire um, trunk if you'd like. Coming around to the side, we have your capless fuel fill port. Again, just absolutely beautiful looking SUV. Uh, GMC definitely hit this out of the park, uh, in my opinion. These GMC Yukons, uh, especially the Denali's, are right up there with the new Escalades. Honestly, I kind of prefer the look of the uh, Yukon, if I'm being honest. That being said, let's take a closer look at the interior. So starting off over here on the left-hand side of the steering wheel, we have your two seat memory buttons, all of your window controls, the driver and passenger window are automatic up and down, and then above that we have all the mirror controls, and these do have power folding mirrors as well. Over here we have what I like to call the command center. Um, you have pretty much every button you'll need to uh, work this vehicle. Starting off up top, we have your electronic parking brake button right here lane keep assist, traction control off, parking sensors off, they are on by default. Uh, this is your hill descent control button, automatic start stop, it is on by default. And then this is the power for the power plugs in the vehicle. I believe there are two that are 120 volt, 400 watt power outlets. Right down here we have your push button transfer case, auto, two high, four high, four low, and then your mode selector right here. As you control what mode you're in, the LCD gauges display different things depending. And then this button actually lowers the suspension of the vehicle. Um, this vehicle does have air suspension, which is very, very cool. Over here we have the dimmer switch for the instrument cluster. And then under that we have the rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting. To the right of that, we have your integrated trailer brake control. As you can see, we do have a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Right here, we have your heads up display control center. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. I'll zoom in a little bit on there. Very, very cool. You can control the height of the heads up display, the brightness of the heads up display, and what it's actually displaying itself. So right now we are in the miles per hour uh, mode. This is your collision avoidance gap adjustment mode, map mode, and then your off-road mode, which shows you your pitch and roll of the vehicle, which I like keeping it in. Coming back, we do have a beautiful leather wrapped dashboard. I'd say 95% of this is actually leather and it is very soft to the touch. Um, very, very nice. Down here we have the beautiful instrument cluster, tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, full LCD display in the middle with um, different 
digital gauges throughout. Working our way back to the steering wheel, very nice leather wrapped. It is heated, indicated by the amber light right here. Right here is your collision avoidance gap adjustment buttons. Cruise control buttons are all right here. Your Denali logo in the middle of the steering wheel. Hands-free call buttons. And then the control pad for the center display. Uh, obviously, left and right work normally. However, up and down is with the scroll wheel. And then once you have what you want to monitor or what you want to go into, you just simply click on the wheel itself. Just like most GM vehicles, you have a seek or scan rocker on the back of the left side of the steering wheel and a volume rocker on the back of the right side of the steering wheel. Hazard light button right here. Push button start. Also your push button uh, gear selection. I'm really liking the way uh, General Motors has gone about doing this. Um, they're getting rid of the center shifter and they're not really fans of the rotary dial shifter. Uh, this does free up a lot of space. Right now we are in park. To go into reverse, you just pull up on the reverse tab and then it pops up the 360 degree camera system. Go to neutral, push it, go to drive, pull it, and then low, push, and then you can do manual plus and minus gears from there. So it does free up a decent amount of space. I, I do like that a lot. Coming over to the massive touchscreen display, uh, absolutely beautiful touchscreen display, very responsive, does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as you can see, as well as navigation and a 4G LTE connection. You can control the climate from here, as well as monitor your many cameras that are on board this vehicle. And it also has a trailering app. So hook up your trailer, uh, go into the trailering app, it'll test all the lights and give you reminders on making sure you're aired up and your tires are rotated, ensuring you have a successful trip, which is very cool. Also, as you can see, there's a rear media feature. Uh, these captain's chairs do have TVs in the back of them. I will show that in a little bit. Under that, we have the physical controls for the audio with a piano black background, which looks very classy. Volume knob, home button, back button, uh, skip forward or back, tune, and then select knob, as you can see. And then down here we have the dual zone climate control buttons for the vehicle. Heated and ventilated driver and passenger seats. And again, something that I love GM does is they give you the option to have just the seat back heated, which is very cool. Right here, we have the classy storage compartment. Right now it is uh, closed off. Push on this, giving us access to an SD card reader, a USB-C, a USB port, as well as a 12 volt outlet. To close it, you just simply push back in and it closes. To open this, you just push down and it opens, giving you access to two cup holders. Right here we have the center armrest slash console with a cutout for a smartphone. Open it up giving us access to a storage bin right here, which is very cool. Here's the Denali seat in this vehicle with the Denali stitching, very nice. Right here we have the glove box for the vehicle, pretty big for this size of vehicle. Coming up top, LED lit vanity for passenger as well as driver. Working our way up to this center area, if it'll focus, hopefully there's not too much light washout. Three door universal garage remote. Dome map light controls for when the vehicle's doors are open. Captain's chairs adjustment buttons. This is your trunk lid release button. Right now it's in the max configuration. Three quarters of the way open and then off. So when it's off, you have to physically go back to the trunk and open it yourself. This vehicle does have the twin pane panoramic sunroof. So your controls are right here for the slide, the tilt, and then opening and closing. Right here, this button actually moves this center armrest back for the rear passengers, giving us storage right here. 
so you can definitely hide goodies in there as well as the storage bin right here so uh, if you have a large purse or anything and you want to give the rear passengers uh, more access to their stuff cup holders put your purse right here very cool and again to close it you're gonna come up here push this button hold it in and it's gonna automatically close for you that is a very very cool feature overall I'm very impressed with this interior um, which leads us to the final cool feature in my opinion is the rear view mirror right now it's a regular rear view mirror flick it down and it becomes a camera you can control the brightness the zoom zoom out or zoom in and then you can control how high or how low the camera views things very cool to go back to a rear view mirror flick it forward and it's a regular mirror again I absolutely love this interior I love this vehicle again the Denali is just it's so awesome let's see how much legroom we have in the rear seats so because this guy has captain's chairs, um, getting into the rear seats is very easy. However, if you don't want to go in through the middle, you can actually go in through either of the sides. Pull this lever, the seat moves forward. Pull this again, the seat back comes down. And then there's a little drawstring back here that you pull and the whole seat flips up. I will go more into detail on this when I am in the third row. But right now, we're going to get in. With the seat situated where it would be if I was driving, I'd say I have a solid eight to 10 inches of legroom before my knees hit the front seat. I am 5'11 for reference. You do have storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Two cup holders right here with a cutout for a tablet. Right here is your rear control HVAC system, as well as your heated captain's chairs. And then under that, you not only have USB-Cs, but HDMI inputs. So in theory, kid one or person one could be playing, uh, what is it, the new Xbox or whatever, Xbox One or whatever, and the other person could be playing the new PS5. So very cool. You also have a 120 volt, 400 watt power outlet right there. Beautiful. Denali seats back here, very comfortable leather, very nice armrests. Uh, something cool about these touchscreen displays is you can actually send directions from back here to the driver. So if they're busy driving and don't want to mess around with the touchscreen to find something, you can actually navigate for them and then send them the directions to that. So that is very, very cool. Um, this thing is just absolutely awesome uh, like i said you can control the hdmis so you could both be playing on hdmi one uh, with your consoles or whatever uh, this is very very cool and then because you do have the twin pane uh, panoramic sunroof in here uh, all of the led dome map lights and uh, hvac vents and hanger hooks are pushed over to the side right there now getting into the back through the center aisleway is very easy. I'm gonna put this seat up real quick. And as you may notice, these seats are at different lengths. I'm gonna start over on this one, which is in the worst case scenario for tall people. Uh, in this setup, I have maybe an inch of legroom before my knees hit the front seat. If you have a smaller or shorter person sitting in front of you over here, I'd say you have a solid five to six inches of legroom, so not too bad, especially this not being a Yukon XL. You do get a decent amount of space back here. Uh, each side has a cup holder and a USB-C. And then you have integrated hanger hooks on both passenger and driver sides, as well as your HVAC vents and LED dome map lights. Now, if you wanna get out of the vehicle, without going through here. Each side has a little button right here. You're gonna push it. The seat is gonna automatically fold down, or it should, fold down. And then you're gonna pull this little drawstring right here, and it's gonna fold up for you, which makes, uh, unlock the car. Oh, kid, child locks are on. But it makes getting in and out of the vehicle very, very easy. 
Let's take a look at the back and see how much cargo space we have. So there are a couple ways to open the trunk on this vehicle. Um, the key fob you can actually open just the rear glass or the trunk altogether. Uh, to open just the rear glass you're going to come up to this side to the right of the C in GMC, push the button and it will unlock giving you access to the back seat. So if you're hauling some lumber and it's gonna stick out farther than the vehicle, you can safely haul it. To close it, I recommend just kind of closing it right by where the hinge is and slamming it shut. To open the whole thing, you're gonna push this button. It's gonna automatically open for you. Coming in here, we have a shallow storage compartment with spare tire kit. Nice cargo net tie downs right here. Here's another 120 volt, 400 watt power outlet. These two buttons fold down the center uh, captain's chairs. And then these buttons fold down the left and the right side of the rear chairs, giving you a total load flat floor. However, the driver's seat and passenger seat are a little bit too far back for the seats to fully fold down right now. Uh, you can easily fit drywall and plywood in here, both lengthwise and widthwise. Uh, something cool about this third row is you can actually fold them back up at, with the push of a button. So, very cool. Once you're done, to close the trunk, you're gonna push that button and it's gonna beep at you a couple times and then it's going to close. Let's take a closer look at the window sticker now. So here's a window sticker for this vehicle. Again, it's a 2021 Yukon four-wheel drive Denali. Summit white exterior with a 6.2 liter Ecotec third generation V8 and a 10-speed automatic transmission. Standard equipment is right here for a standard vehicle price of $71,400. All of your optional equipment are going to be right here. Most notably, you have the Denali Ultimate Package for $9,280, as well as the 22-inch multi-spoke gloss black wheels for $2,995. You do get a Denali Ultimate Package savings of $1,000, bringing the total MSRP of this vehicle to $84,320. Fuel economy ratings are right here. This vehicle is rated at 14 miles per gallon city, 19 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 16 miles per gallon. I would like to give Champion Buick GMC a huge thank you and shout out for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in this 2021 Yukon Denali uh, in particular, or any of the 2021 Yukon lineup, uh, they have a bunch of inventory on their lot right now. I will be putting all of the contact info in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and a share. And like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.